good morning boys and girls it's me miss denise and i wanted to do a real quick fun project for a rainy day we're going to make an umbrella yep we're going to make an umbrella and what you're going to need is two pieces of white paper you're going to need all your markers or you could use paint if you wanted to a little pom-pom glue stick and your scissors and you need a pipe cleaner any color you want I chose orange because that's my favorite I have an orange pom-pom and an orange pipe cleaner okay so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one of your white sheets of paper and you are going to make a half a circle okay um, remember how I told you you can make a circle using a bowl okay we'll put the bowl over half of your paper and then trace it and I traced mine already and I did it in black marker so it would be nice and thick and you guys could see it I also drew my lines to my umbrella and your grown-up can help you do that too start in the center and draw a line down and then draw another one curved out to that side and curved out to that side mine's not perfect but it doesn't have to be because it's your creation okay so first thing you want to do is you want to cut out your umbrella. So you need to get your scissors and cut it out. And remember, only cut if your grown-up says that you can. And if you need help, remember to ask your grown-up, and I know they will help you. So we're just going to cut out our circle, or half a circle, just like this. See, so if you look at here, it's half of a circle. Okay, and then I drew my lines on it. And an umbrella has like little funky little jaggy edges, I guess you would call it, like little triangles. So I just drew that free-handed too. And you can have your grown-up help you do that. And you're just going to cut those out. And the only reason why you do that is it just makes it look a little bit more like it's an umbrella. And I have one more over here and there we go okay so this is kind of what your umbrella looks like kind of looks like a an egg <laughs> um, okay so I am going to put my paper right here just for a second I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see me color it. this is where you can color and create your own umbrella I'm gonna color my umbrella using different colors and I'm gonna color each of these little areas a different color so I'm going to start out with orange just like that I'm going to try and go as fast as I can you can use any color you want and if you don't want to color the whole thing in you don't have to you could draw a little polka dots on it anything that you want this is where you get to use your imagination and draw what you want okay so here's one done whoa and I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna do every other one orange so let me do this one really fast so there I just colored that in really fast just like that okay and then I think on the other two I am going to use yellow because I want my umbrella to be very bright and happy so I'm gonna color my other part yellow so I kind of been doing a pattern aren't I it's an AB pattern isn't it like what we learned about see orange yellow orange so what color would this one be you're right yellow so I'm gonna try and do that really 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 fast now, if I weren't in a hurry, I would take my time and color it in really well. Okay, so I am now done coloring. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper, our other white piece of paper, and we want it to be up and down this way, okay? And we need to glue our umbrella on. And it's okay if it doesn't fit on your paper. doesn't matter. So put some glue on the back of your umbrella that you just colored. 
You don't need a lot of glue for this particular project either. And you want to stick it, I don't know, how about right there? That looks good to me. Now you have your little pom-pom. And your pom-pom, you put at the very top, in the center. So you want to put a lot of glue. This one you do want a lot of glue. Put it right there on your paper, just like that. You could even put it on your pom-pom too if you want. And then squish it right on the top. So now you've got the top of your um, umbrella. And then this is going to be the handle, okay? So you can double it if you want. And a handle is kind of like in the shape of a J. So you want to make your little J shape kind of like that. And you're gonna put your handle on. For that, I would use tape. And you wanna put it underneath, just right underneath your umbrella. So let me put mine right there. So here is my awesome umbrella, but it needs rain. I need to draw raindrops on my picture. So I'm gonna use blue for my raindrops. And I'm just gonna make little raindrops falling down because it's raining in my picture. You can draw as many as you want. You can make them as fat as you want. But I'm even gonna have a few down here. Not too many because the umbrella is supposed to be protecting me from the rain. So there are my raindrops and my umbrella. Let me show it to you close up so you guys can see it. Ah, it's a happy umbrella because it's bright colors on a rainy day. I cannot wait to see what your umbrellas look like. So you have to make sure that you have your grown-up take a picture of it and post it on Facebook, okay? Thank you so much for joining me on this project, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.